freshman Jacob Lagoa, state title. Uh, I asked some people about you, and the word that they used was freak of nature. State title as a freshman, how does that feel? Uh, you go to a school that had a defunct wrestling program, Asheville St. John. What's it like to go somewhere and start something back up? Um, it's different. It's obviously a challenge, uh, getting people to start wrestling that have never been around the sport before. Um, we built off what we had. We had a couple guys in the room. We just did what we could with the numbers we had. Coach Blank, uh, actually worked with this guy. I've been working with him for, for over a decade. One of the best human beings you'll ever meet. What's it like having Scott Blank in your corner and, and you know knowing that you have the support network around you at St. John? Uh, I feel very comfortable. Uh, he obviously knows what he's talking about. Uh, I can trust everything he says. He's never said anything wrong. To, and his son's one of your teammates. His son's one of your teammates. So it's like a family affair at Asheville St. John. Um, a lot of people probably weren't talking about Asheville St. John. When you can go to all these other places, you live in Northeast Ohio. It's one of the hotbeds of wrestling in the United States of America. One of the top three places to recruit out of. Why do you choose to go to Asheville St. John? All the places you could go. St. Ed's. Okay. There's Lake Catholic. There's all these schools. Walsh Jesuit's got a great tradition. Uh, you know, you could have gone anywhere. You could have gone somewhere in PA. You know what I mean? You're on the PA border, right? Why go to Ashtabula St. John? Um, we were all in different schools. It's uh, my teammates are everybody I've been wrestling with since I first started. Um, we all got together to start the program so we could all wrestle with each other and keep building off what we had going through youth and junior high. And we knew we could be successful together in high school. Is there any doubt you guys can't make a run at a team championship? Do you know what it looks like to be the big team on the block moving up? You know, that four state finalists. Can they build off of your success at St. John and, and, and you guys make a run of the team title? Definitely, definitely. Uh, they're going to see my success and they're gonna, everybody else is going to want to start. It's just going to make us work harder and we're going to do what we have to do to be successful. A lot of guys win state titles as freshmen. Believe it or not, they do. What do you got to do to up your game every year? Where do you go from here? How do you train to win the second state title? Oh, I can't slack. I got to stay humble, stay confident, stay hungry, um, keep pushing myself even more than I did the year before. Uh, I can't cut back on any of the work I put in, so I can keep myself. Did you guys have any other placers or qualifiers? Yeah, two other qualifiers. Two other qualifiers? Any of those guys placed? No. None of those guys placed. So what do you got to do to be a leader here moving forward? Uh, we have to push each other mentally and physically. And more practice, more practice time, make sure work out, and we'll be back in the same. One thing you want people to know about what you guys are doing in Ashtabula, Ohio, what would it be? Hard work. Hard work? All right, bud. You got anything else for me? Congratulations on the, is it the school's first state title? Yes. And how many, how many other placers have they even had? Never had a placer? No. We're going to call you a trailblazer. Congratulations on the title. Call him the trailblazer.